Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy, your main man, your main black man. Today it's back another video. Well, the first video on this game called Samurai Showdown. Samurai Showdown. I got this game about two weeks ago at the time of this recording. I don't know when this video is going to go up, but it looks really cool. So I decided to cop it and right now we're in the tutorial mode because I wanted to actually learn I mean, I've already played through this thing this tutorial mode But I want to understand how this game works because it seems like a really cool game Even though it's not very combo heavy like the games I'm used to like fighters, you know, even mk11 stuff like that But we're here and I'm just gonna play through this and that'll be the video right now as you could probably as you guys can hear it I'm using my fight stick right now because this seems like a fight stick game so we're gonna be doing this practice mode right here. Get into the juice, the juiciness of this stuff. This game looks is so cool looking. Like it's really cool. Like I love the art style. Like the art style is actually really sick. And like the damage in this game is disgusting. Disgusting. Like very disgusting. And I want to play this game. I would I would play this on controller, but for some reason I don't want to play it on controller. I usually play most fighting games on controller, but. Not this one, which is kind of unfortunate though, because I um, I play my games through um, share play on my computer because the majority of the time my family's using the TV, and I can't use my fight stick on share play unfortunately. So yeah, it's right now. Oh shoot, forward wake up. Right now it's actually 4:40 in the morning. Right now almost five in the morning. Oh shoot, go backwards. I'm not really paying attention, so you know I can play the TV, and I'm sitting at an angle like I always do, stand guarding. Go back. I'm assuming it's gonna be low guard. Oops, oops. Go down. Crouch. Crouching guard. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna do a reversal. And I'm pretty sure this this is a four button game in terms of attacks. Grapples, I'm not counting. Guard just before the look at that damage. You see the damage on these hits? Oh shoot. Guard before Nope. 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 Genjudo, back up. Okay. I thought I did it on time. Tavius on time. There we go. Gosh. Why was that so difficult? Okay, so I, I don't think this was the... This was... Oh, God. So it's light smash and, and medium smash. And I'm, what buttons are, is that? Okay, hold on. Okay, what buttons is that? I gotta see the buttons real quick. Hold on. Mm, so light slash and medium slash to, at the same time. Just before the attack hits me. Which I couldn't figure out how to do this when I tried it last time. I'm pressing it. Come on. How I don't get... How precise does this have to be? Oh, I, do I have to block? Do I have to block? Hold on. Okay, I'm not. I'm not blocking. I'm not doing a very good job of blocking. There we go. I didn't read. I didn't read. Let me see this trophy. Complete all lessons. I could. I didn't read. I thought it was press light smash and heavy and medium slash right before it hit. And I was like, that's a freaking block. Like that's a dodge. Landing a stance break enables you to put distance between you and your opponent. So it's basically telling. It's basically a push block. It's basically a get get off me tool. Ouch! Look at the damage. Look at the damage. The timing on this game is so freaking weird. It's like these attacks are so dang slow. It's so difficult to time this stuff. Freak. Terrible timing on me. Freak. My timing sucks with this stuff. There we go. Wait, what? Oh, that's what I'm supposed to do. Get that freaking sword out of here, buddy. Counters are only possible when wielding a weapon, and jump attacks can... can oh, jump attacks can be countered? That's fire. Blade catch. Give me that. Oh, I didn't read that. My bad. <laughs> sword clash. This occurs when two fighters perform a weapon attack at once. Repeatedly tap light smash, medium slash, heavy slash, or kick to win the clash. 
Gotcha. That's actually really cool. When you win a sword class, you will disarm your opponent. For a sword class to trigger, the following criteria must be met. One, there are at least 16 seconds remaining on the timer. Both opponents have at least 160 life remaining. Only one sword clash per round. Like, are these all separate uh, criterias? Like, are they, like, these all have to, those all have to happen for it to work. Light, medium, or heavy attack? Light attack. Medium attack. And then watch this big damage. Oh my god, the damage in this game is disgusting. You can attack your opponent while crouching and jumping. Heavy slashes leave you open for longer but deal greater damage to your opponent. They deal, they deal big boy damage. Big boy damage, BBD. Fist attack. You will fight with your fists when not wielding a weapon. So, light. Fist attacks are far less powerful than a weapon attack. When barehanded, you can press LS to pick up your weapon. Gotcha. Kick attack. Press K to perform a kick attack. Combine K with the directional buttons to perform a different type of kick. Standing kick. Boom. Forward kick. Boom. 6K. 2K. <laughs> no 18. And then... What is that? 3K. Actually, that's not 3K. That's... uh. Four, I think that was four. Oh, that was four it. Four K. Four K. No TV. Kick attacks make up for their lack of power in speed. If your opponent's relying heavily on weapon attacks, try finding an opening with a kick attack. This is a game I actually want to learn. Like it looks so cool. Attack while stepping forward to perform this attack. Advanced light slash. Bang. Bang. Oh my goodness, the damage. Advanced kick. When barehanded, you still perform an advanced attack, but note there are two sets of L, M, and H attacks, one for fist attacks and one for kick attacks. Guard break. Press HS plus K or back and HS plus K near an opponent to break their guard. Oh, that's just throw. Okay, gotcha. And then, oh shoot, back throw. And you can combo off of throws in this game too. Guard breaks do not deal any damage but cannot be guarded against either. So there are ex what? So they are excellent for opponents who often guard, who guard often. Be careful, however, as they are no effect on aerial opponents. And they leave you vulnerable as freak to being punished. Because when you grab in this game, it's like you're standing for years. Watch this, watch this. Years. I'm stuck. I can't backdash. I can't do anything. I'm just stuck. Okay. Surprise attack. That looks like freaking Skullamania's uh, overhead in uh, Fighting Yay's Lair. I need to get back on that game, bro. Surprise attack is a special attack highly effective against the crouching guard. Gotcha, you just bop them on the top of the head and make them stand up. Special moves. You can perform a special move with a unique combination of the directional buttons and attack buttons. The moves differ depending on whether you use light, medium, or heavy attacks. Oh, the, D the DP? The DP. The medium DP. You fly f high as freak with these things. The DP. Look at we were we went above the health bar. Special moves change in power, speed, distance, flight, and quality depending on whether you use L, M, or H move. Use them wisely according to the situation. I can't read. Rage gauge and max rage. Your rage gauge fills every time you take a hit. Filling up the rage gauge puts you in a max rage state. Try landing hits on an opponent and pushing them into a max rage state. Yeah, big damage. Your attack power is greatly increased when in at max rage. Try avoiding enemy attacks when they are in the, the same state. Rage explosion. When wielding a weapon and on the ground, press L, M, and H to trigger a rage explosion. Rage explosions can also be triggered when taking a hit. Rage Explosion, Kaioken. You can trigger a Rage Explosion only once per match and it has the following effects. One, attack powers greatly increased, weapon flipping techniques and its lightning blade. Lightning blade? Kakashi? Naruto? <laughs> weapon flipping techniques and lightning blade can be used. Three, time stands still. Four, when a Rage Explosion ends, the Rage Gaze depletes to zero. So it's basically sparking for Samurai Shodown. Weapon flipping technique, quarter forward M plus H. While in max rage or rage explosion state to perform a special weapon disarming attack. Oh god. <gasps> Jesus, that's a, that's <clears throat> look at the freaking damage. When you land a weapon flipping technique, you lose your max rage state. If you triggered it while in a rage explosion state, the rage explosion state will end. It's good to know. It's basically like a like a YOLO move. Lightning blade. Press LMH while in a max rage to perform a special attack. Gotcha. Boom boom. Here we go. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lightning Blade's damage is determined by how much of your rage explosion remains. However, activating a lightning blade will end the rage explosion regardless of whether it lands or not. I read that, but I really didn't pay attention to what I read. <laughs> super special moves. A super special move is an attack which you can only perform once during a battle. Oh, shoot, it's this thing. First try, boys. So they want you to do back for forward back half circle forward h plus k that's crazy super special moves may be super powerful but they can be used only once choose where and when you activate it carefully we're reading boys that's it and that's all that that's all of them that's every that's everyone all right guys that is going to be it let me actually let me let me show you guys the characters i actually want to learn in this game i right, peep this so there's there's so there's a few characters i actually want to learn so far that i've actually tried ukyo does disgusting damage this man does like some of the biggest damage in the game i think he has like a th two hit combo that'll kill you so i want to learn hanzo hattori hanzo and i want to learn charlotte charlotte shiki she's basically the japanese version of of psylocke from X-Men. So basically, and uh, apparently Jubei and Haomaru are like super easy characters to use. Same with Charlotte. Darley Dagger, bad, but she's she's a rushdown character, but I want to learn Charlotte and Hanzo the most. So yeah, that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Short video today. Well, at this point in time, I've been recording for 16 and a half minutes and it's about to be five in the morning. So I'm about to hit the sheets. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. I will be playing this game. Um, I just need to play it more. It's just the only downside is like what I said before with the fight stick situation. Um, I want to play this game on the stick. I don't want to play it on controllers. So we'll see. We'll, we'll see what happens. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, if you already subscribed and you haven't clicked the bell yet, <laughs> What are you doing? You're not going to see the boys' uploads. Click the bell so you see your boys' uploads. Stay up to date with your main black man, yeah, Tavius. <laughs> Let's try to get 10 likes on the video. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know what your favorite part of the video was. I mean, that doesn't even apply to this. This is freaking tutorial mode. I'm out of here. It's been Tavius. Remember, it's always fun. Have a great day. I love you guys. And uh, yeah, guys, peace and love and tranquility <laughs> I'm on my bull right now peace guys